Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I'm back with another Pokemon Red randomized episode. Don't know what episode this is, but here it is. And let me woo. Well, now that I'm not sick anymore, I guess it's time. So, yes, actually, now I have cut. And while we're looking at this, and I'm just getting someone to have cut on my team, go down below and hit subscribe. I've already caught content like this out, and I've got more content coming. So just go ahead and hit subscribe, and that I would greatly appreciate it, honestly. Politoed, trying to learn cut this, because I don't give a crap about Politoed. You know what you I use you for? Hypnosis. That's what you're useful for, hypnosis. And don't need double slap if you got double edge. And there's cut. I think we all know who's going to become an HM slave with the hypnosis. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, let us see off SS. And sadly, we're going to be seeing a moth. <laughs> I love, 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 love. Bum, bum. All right. And there you have that. I'm going to go to the right first. Yep. And I'm going to go through Diglett Cave. What's this guy say? What a surprise. Diglett's dug this long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City. Awesome, buddy. What I care about is what Pokemon's down here. Holy crap. Well, I'm having two water types on my team. Fifteen. Dang, fifteen. I'm having two water types on my team, okay? Oh. Item. Pokeball. Cop Froakie. Another freaking starter. And I like Greninja. I can't lie. Mole. Yep. Yeah, that's not, not... Not the actual thing. No. Okay, well, guys. Well, let's see what else. Hopefully it's not for Nerfroki. It's a Nerfroki. Well, that's fine. Um, This is free e EXP. For Electivire. See? What did I tell you? Not much. But it's something. Um. <laughs> oh, crap. I've got this dilemma now. I want Froki. I want Electivire. I want Munchlack. And Politoes become. I need him for cut. Buy Munchlax. Man, I wanted to keep Munchlax, but I'm not going to make Munchlax an HM slaver to have cut. That's just a big no. Um, I might take him out later. So I'll deposit Munchlax. And Froki will become more of a high priority. Uh, it will become a higher priority than Electivire here. So, switch with Froki. Awesome. Although, I'm not forgetting about Electivire. Unless I find a nurse starter. Then I'm absolutely forgetting about Electivire. After I think, forget about Politoed. Alright, there we go. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. 
now let's get back to Diglett Cave. In this episode, what I'm hoping to do is to get through Diglett Cave, find the stuff, you know, get all the stuff on that side, maybe battle a few trainers over here. If you're interested, again, if you're, not if, just, if you're, yeah, well, if, hold on, I'm trying to think what I'm trying to say, I had a thought process and then I completely forgot about my, for, I don't even remember what I was trying to say, level 20, hmm. what, I like the back spread on this though, well, this is how I'm getting, EXP in this cave, then. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Okay, yep. Well, not much for either. That's still, dang it. Five different levels. That's a huge, di that's a huge difference. If I see another one that's level 20, I might. It's level 19. If I see one that's level 20. Okay. Just escape, buddy. Oh my god. Whatever. Yeah, come back, Froki. If I see level 20, the difference between level 5 and 20 can be a good bit. Especially with experience, without experience all. Absorb. Oh, come on. Just drive peacefully, man. Bum, 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 bum. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Anyway, I still like Pokemon Red Randomizer. It's a good mixture of just nostalgia, retro game, Pokemon Red, and new stuff. Not, it's a nice ROM. I'm glad someone made this ROM. All weird sprites and all. Dark and scary, Pokemon Splash, could light it up. No stop. Just hang left. Okay, see, we can cut here. We can go back. We are going to go to Viridian. Or Pewter, Pewter. Let's see what he says. Fan of Pokemon can't fight, but he can still use moves like Cut. I'm looking for an Amoongus. Want to trade one for Cast Form? If I had an Amoongus, I would. Cast Form's kind of cool. I wonder if they have the tops. Doubt it. Weather tops. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do this. Cut. Bam. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Once a Pokemon learns Flash, you can get through Rock Tunnel. Well, do you just... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Does he move sideways? No, I thought he moved sideways. Ha, remember me. I'm Professor Oak's aide. If you caught ten kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an HMO5. Ash, have you caught at least ten kinds of Pokemon? Yes, great. You've caught fifteen kinds of Pokemon. Congratulations. Here you go. Ash got HMO5. HM5 is Flash. Awesome. So there's Flash. Flash got it got Flash out of the way. Waterstone. Hey, I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. Calcium. Sure, why not? Huh. Apparently that's all. Hmm. Try to remember if that was all from down there. I can get. Had to think about that for a second. Bum 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 bum. 
cut this tree down. Man, oh man, oh man, was I wrong. That's not all. And for you all thought, hey, you're missing something. Why are you going that way? Just stop. Turn around. Dude, you're forgetting this. My God, how can you forget this? Don't worry, I'm going to get it. For oh, you all that do not know. Wait. I can't believe I almost forgot. So I was thinking about going into the Indigo League. That's what I had my mind on. But that's not... That's going to bring me nothing. I mean, I could go see some new types. But overall, no. This. This sleeping man that's trapped. This weird dude. Oh, things glitched out. Yawn. I must have dozed off in the sun. I had this dream about drowsy eating my dream. What's this? Where does this Tim come from? This is spooky. Here, you can take it. <laughs> now, is HM, I mean, TM42 actually TM? It's TM20. Rage. Okay. Well, you don't know until you get him. And Rage isn't, you know, the worst. So, eh. Oh, well. Up we go. Cut, cut, cut. There we go. All right, so keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Polytoad, cut. Yes. Then we gotta cut again, then we gotta cut one more time, then we gotta come. When we come back, we gotta cut. A lot of cutting going on. Uh, now my nose is itching. That's cool. Oh, no, no, no. Mm. Don't want to battle super low, like level three or four, or whatever is down here. To the right. Up. Left. Let's see if I get. A fossil, because I already got the dome and the helix fossil. So, we we're proud of two fossils, a very rare prehistoric Pokemon. Shh, I think that's this chunk of amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be great if the Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore me, so I have a favor to ask. Take this to a Pokemon lab and get it examined. Is it the old amber, though? It is the old amber. Cool. Awesome. Three fossils I can get. Anyways. Time to move on. Alright. Hopefully I see a level 20 Froakie, because then I'll just switch that crap out like no other. Like, so, I'll... I'll... Sorry, this croaky Froakie. You... You were too low. When you see something that's a little five, five levels higher, that <sighs> saves you time. Oh, I, I about did a whole up down again. Double down back. Croaky. Low 15. All right, go grow ball. Bum, bum, bum. So, while we're doing these, kind of just. Small level battles. I'll be telling you, I guess, what I've done today. Let's see. Today I did some Nexomon stuff. Playthrough. Like two episodes, I think. And then I did a Koromon demo. Two episodes of that. Koromon. Nexomon's awesome. So if you're into monster taming games, I mean, like Pokemon, and if, especially if Pokemon Shield, Pokemon Sword disappointed you greatly, like so many other people, then I would recommend, highly recommend, Going, getting Nexomon, which is Nexomon Extinction. I mean, you can't play the first game, Nexomon. Um, no, I'll get it anyways. Look at this. Anyways, um, then check out these other monster taming games. Uh, Nexomon Extinction, fantastic. Go check out some gameplay. I've already got some gameplay up, I know, absolutely, by now. Uh, I'm doing the Coromon demo. Look at this. Actually, let me cut and then do it. Um, the Coromon demo. Coromon is the graphics. I mean, 
Nexomon graphics are okay. Kind of reminds me of like a Maple Story kind of thing, but a little bit better. Uh, some people might complain about the graphics. I'm not got a big complaint. Coromon, holy crap, music so good. I like the designs too. So far, the designs look freaking good. Like Nexomon has good designs. Coromon has good designs. Nexomon extension, you do have to buy. Uh, Coromon, you don't. It's a demo right now. Um, see, I've done another video for a different channel I do. Uh, yesterday I played Patch Quest, which is a monster taming game that's unique. Like, you don't keep it. It's like a temporary thing. Um, you go around it. So it reminds me of Pokemon Ranger. Because Pokemon Ranger is technically a monster taming game. Didn't affect Crokey, Crokey, whatever. Um, so, I'll be doing a video on that. I won't have any, it's not like gameplay for that one. For that one, it's going to be... Oh, let me go down. Pokeball. For that one, for Patch Quest, it's going to be like explanation of what Patch Quest is. How normal can it break out? It's asleep and weak. And it's awake. Okay. Um, the computer I had to... Uh, Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. The computer I had to use Patch Quest or play Patch Quest with is like a freaking jet engine loud. It is insane. Um, pretty much about three sensors are messed up. You know, it's got heavy power supply fans. It's got an air fan, and it, it thinks it's about on fire, and then it thinks, oh, I'm negative 91 degrees Celsius. And then it thinks, oh, I'm 121 degrees Celsius. So it's all over the place. I gotta get the sensors fixed because it won't even run on whisper mode. It's forcing it into full throttle. I'm about to die mode. So I gotta get that fixed and I can actually start doing commentary. Uh, there we go. Nerd Hub knows this. I was waiting for a nerd one to hit. Start doing commentary on that game so it can run smoother. You you won't have as many frame drops and OBS, things like that. You all will have a better experience. Also, it'll be just easier to integrate everything with um, editing and all that for me. Whew. Dude, Froki. What else can I do? Bro, whatever. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Screw you. I've spent I've I spent way too much. Nah, dang it. That gum. That gum. Again. Another Froki. Like he's gonna kill my Froki if I just don't do anything. Anyways, I'll switch from Grove. I'll absorb. Get to the Poke Center. I can't believe that crap. Absorb. Dang it. There we go. Oak Ho, baby. Full heal, pretty much. Ah, no, no, okay. That's fine. But yeah, um, but I'm putting all, all that stuff. There's even more that I want to cover, like Tam Tam, things like that. So if you're interested in that, or Retro Game Gods. Retro game, game gameplay, which I'm going to be doing. Of course, this is technically like half and half, not retro gameplay. But, you know. If you're interested in that, then go subscribe. I'm going to have a lot more content on that. So, if you're interested on that, you know. No. Heal my Pokemon. Yes. Alright. Awesome. Anyways, that is it for this episode. I'm going to come back. In fact, what I'm doing, you know what I'm doing after this? I'm making another episode. <laughs> so, there will be more episodes. Don't worry about it. Anyways, subscribe. You'll be seeing more content from me. And see you in the next video. Retro on.